Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron. I'm here to show you this 2014 64 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S line black edition Quattro finished off in the Pearl Effect Daytona Grey. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel looking for any dense blemishes scratches or anything like that so the near side front wing looks in good condition the near side front and near side rear door looks in good condition and the near side rear quarter looks good as well near side front alloy almost in immaculate condition looks really nice and the near side front tires are high-end pirelli with a good five or six mil of tread remaining moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy same again really really nice condition alloy and another high-end tire just looking for brand continental this one with a good four or five mil of tread remaining looking back down the near side now from rear to front near side rear quarter looks in good condition near side rear and near side front doors look good and the near side front wing looks good moving around the rear of the car now so we're going to check out the rear bumper and low plastics to start with as you can see all looks in nice condition. Tail lights and tail gate look good. Rear screen looks good with the factory privacy glass and along the roof linings in good condition as well. Looking back down the offside of the car now from rear to front. Offside rear quarter looks in good condition. Both offside doors look really good and the offside front door looks good. Offside rear alloy, another almost immaculate alloy, looks in really nice condition. And the offside rear tire, matching axle, this one, another high-end continental with a good five mil tread. Moving down the offside now to the offside front alloy. Again, another almost immaculate alloy, really, really nice condition. Matching axle again, high end Pirelli with a good five, six mil tread on it. Looking back on the offside, one final look down the bodywork. Offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors look in nice condition, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. And for the age of mileage of the car, the front bumper looks really good too. If there are any marks that we find on prep, they'll be polished up and touched in the best we can prior to sale. But I can't see any, you know, major enough to note. Looks in really good condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, no major dent scratches or anything like that. Paintwork looks in good condition. But again, if anything, there's one or two light touch-up marks along the front to be done with a genuine Audi Daytona grey touch-up paint prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. No major chips or cracks in this screen. Get a couple of light surface markings on the driver's side, I think. But other than that, looks in nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car. Starting in the boot. Nice sizable boot on these A5s. All carpets and plastics look in good condition. These mats, if they're for this car and fit, it is a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. As you can see, all rubbers, plastics, carpets, and everything like that look good. Split parcel shelves in good condition and all the plastics underneath the boot lid are in good condition as well. Moving through the interior. Rear door cards look in good condition. And there you have the full factory black leather rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and nice fixed fitting to both outer seats. Jackal headliners in good condition. Back to both front seats look good and the rear carpets look good as well. Front door cards look in good condition. S-line kick plates look good. Front carpets are look nice. And there you have the front S-line full leather interior. Bolster still firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no trace of any odours. Fully electronically controlled seats in this car. We'll jump in. Same goes for the passenger seat. Really, really nice condition, if not better. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Interior does look to have been looked after. Got the sunroof as well, which I'll show you, show you the operation of that in a second. So we'll start the car up and we'll run you through as much of the spec as I can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors. Got central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. Cruise control and the stock just underneath the indicators. 
Moving up the centre console, we've got the fully adjustable armrest, two usable cup holders, all the MMI controls in the centre that we'll run through in just a second, electronic parking brake, automatic transmission, dual climate control, air conditioning and front heated seats, traction control, full parking sensors with optical display and stop start. Now we're up to the MMI, I'll run you through it the best I can. We've got DAB radio with a few other options as you can see. In media we've got Bluetooth, audio streaming and again quite a few other options as you can see there. Full telephone prep on this car and satellite navigation. So this is the Quattro model meaning it's four wheel drive and we do have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker system in this car. Just up, up the top, just show you the operation of the roof. Works really well, real smooth. Opens all the way up, really nice, quite a rare feature on these. And we're finished off with this S-Line flat bottom leather bound multifunction steering wheel with the flappy paddles. And this car's on 72,549 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.